Squash and roots, tray bake. Dead simple, throwing it all together in a tray, whacking it in the oven. I mean, it doesn't get any easier. You need butternut squash, carrots, parsnips, potatoes, red onions, bit of lemon, garlic, curry powder, a tin of butter beans, bit of sugar, splash of oil. One tray, it's a tray bake, a peeler, a spoon, a tin opener, because we're gonna open a tin, knife, and a bowl. Right then, first thing we gotta do. Now this is a butternut squash. Super flavoursome, really quite sweet, all right? And it bakes up really beautifully. Now, cut it in half lengthways. Just with a spoon, scoop those seeds out. And then, get your peeler, peel the outer skin off. And this is where having one of those speed peelers is a help, okay? Because you can pull down on it. Cut the top end off it, then we're gonna cut it into wedges and just stick the wedges into the tray. Right then, the next thing you need to do, parsnips, peel them. They're fantastic, okay? They're so full of flavor, super sweet. Chop the parsnips up, same sort of size. If you haven't got parsnips for this, you can swap it out for Swede if you wanted to. There is no rules with this. The rules are there are no rules. And if there was rules, break them. The next thing, carrots, all right? Peel those. Chunky carrot, that can go in. Next in, potatoes. Cut them into quarters. I'm gonna keep the skins on of these. A lot of the flavor that you get from potato is from the actual skin. Next to go in the tray, red onions. Now, top and tail them, and then cut them into quarters. And then, a little splash of veg oil. Hands in mix, job done. There we are. Yours should look just like that. Now, whilst it's roasting, I want to get another layer of flavour to go on the top of it. So when it comes out, we coat it with something, give it a little bit of a punch and flavour. One teaspoon of curry powder goes into a bowl. Then into that, about a teaspoon of sugar, and then some garlic. Just use your hand, and then with your knife, roughly chop it. You've got the natural flavours that come from that roasted veg. But then if you're gonna add a bit of curry to it, a bit of garlic, all of these flavours start coming together. They make it exciting. Next in, squeezy lemon. Good splash of that. Mix it together. Kind of creates a paste. And then into that, veg oil. And we're gonna leave that to one side till the veggie's done. This is a tray of beautifully roasted root vegetables. And at this point, butter beans. Drain the water, empty them on the top, give it a little shake, let the beans kind of fall into the gaps, and then the dressing. This is a bit of a chance for you at home to get creative. If you don't want curry powder, you want to use something else, please feel free. Let me know what you use. You just give it a last little stir up. So it goes back in the oven now for a further 10 minutes, okay? It smells amazing. All right, look at those. Substantial, filling, delicious. This is a tray of vegetables for all of you veg dislikers that are gonna start liking veg, because that is amazing. Let me see how you get on using the hashtag full-time meals and follow our page for loads more recipes.